We are Alan and an officer one Nemensic and we have a son Nathan at the school here. My background is I'm a um, retired, formerly a director of uh, companies within the retail sector. Uh, last, uh, having worked in Asia since 1989 and uh, my wife had a position in the healthcare sector and uh, it was a senior regional position in the healthcare sector. After a long time to be working and then to, uh, when we decide to retire, of course we would like to retire in Thailand because I'm Thai nationality and then Phuket it seems to be the best place because with the good education system, good healthcare system and the infrastructure is perfect and on top of that weather is lovely and I like the beach. I retired in 2012, we moved across in 2012 permanently. Prior to that we had a holiday home here in Phuket since 2002 and that uh, holiday home became a retirement home and uh, we, Nathan was enrolled when he was four years old uh, and uh, he's been here for the last 11 years. Uh, there were a number of international schools and so therefore we, we explored all options and in terms of ambiance, in terms of the facilities, uh, there was nothing to touch BISP, so therefore we chose BISP and also the academic results were far better than the others at the time. As mentioned earlier, uh, Phuket, was, uh, Phuket was originally um, a um, holiday destination for ourselves. When I had previously worked in, within Thailand, uh, I, we had invested in a home in, in Phuket. That, were, that was to be our retirement home and uh, we've always loved Phuket and we find it um, very, very manageable, very, very easy and now and again there we do get, uh, let's call it island fever, but we're very fortunate because uh, within an hour and a half we could, uh, there's a city R&R, &R, be it in Bangkok or be it in Singapore. Nathan's journey has been simply incredible. Uh, he, st he started um, he started at the age of uh, started at the age of four, and uh, when he was in year three, uh, he was uh, selected for the GMT, the Gifted and Talented group, uh, of which they focused primarily. There were three there were three kids focusing primarily on mathematics and um, and um, and programming. And it was, uh, and uh, they went on a number of, uh, they were at a very early age, uh, Nathan was nominated for the Fabizia as Federation of uh, British International Schools, um, Olympiads. So he made a journey to Malaysia, made another journey to Malaysia some years later, and uh, also entered the programming Olympiad. Uh, so he's just had an incredible journey. At, um, he had a talent, uh, Nathan has a talent for mathematics and therefore he was very fortunate uh, to be given the opportunity of studying with uh, a group uh, two years his senior and uh, therefore he was, uh, that this enabled him to do an early entry IGCSE mathematics and thereafter an early entry IGCSE additional mathematics um, which, was, which was great and uh, the school has been very very supportive and for the last two years, uh, he's had one-on-one -on -one mathematics coaching. So the school has gone overboard to support him, as I have with other children as well. And he was the youngest on, on that year, to the youngest of, uh, of the kids that going to take a test, and he got an A star. So that's, mm. I think I'm very proud of my son. On the extracurricular activities, uh, at the moment he's been focusing on uh, STEM and uh, robotics and uh, he loves Dungeons and Dragons which he's been doing for a number of years as well. On the STEM side, or well, robotics side should I say, he's actually been fortunate he was w working with a group of students that actually uh, built a prosthetic arm uh, and that was an incredible achievement both for him and the other students. On the sporting side, um, he's current love is golf and he's playing golf, a uh, great academy. Uh, he has previously been in the, when he was younger, much younger, he was in the tennis academy, he played soccer at the school. There were many, many options, also swimming at one stage. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, his love at the moment is for golf and he's focusing on his golf. When, when he was young, 
he was swimming and everybody doing it so he have fun soccer mm. swimming but mm. then after he growing up a little bit then the kids start to have his their own joy the, he playing tennis and then now he drink golf so yeah and, uh, and to be also, honest, also pro hockey and he also like pro hockey <laughs> yes <laughs> We have made so many friends through, through Nathan and through the school. And I would say most of our group of friends um, have children at the school, either at the school or previously at the school. And uh, therefore, it's, it's, been, it's been great from that. It's been great from that aspect. But uh, we, uh, since we retired and we kind of start our new life, new new starter in Phuket. We found a lot of friends, as he mentioned, through Nathan's friends, parents, and the parents group. So we formed a very good uh, community. We found uh, a, a lot of help. And, and you know, the mom group, the, the, the dad group, the exercise group of parents, and so on. So, so bring us very close to each other. And uh, yes, we got, at the end of like, what, nine, ten years? We have a lot of long friends, and we are still keep contact. Even some, some of them have left to, you know, send the, the, the children back to Bangkok or, or study abroad or somewhere. But the parents will still, will still stick together. We still go out together and have a drink and yeah. So it's, it's been good. It's been wonderful. You know, you got a lot of activity, extra activity that that you do for the children. The Loi Katong one, the Wai Kru one, the Christmas, the international things. So a lot of parents get together and uh, we're creating things, we bring up the food and it's, it's fun, it's not stressful, it's, not, it's like kind of, and make, you know, a lot of people, you make you get together and, 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 and it's open wide with the, with, with the socials uh, within Phuket. So it's been, it's been very good, yeah, and uh, the school, very supportive on the listen to the parents that that that, that was uh, very impressed to, to me at the beginning since there was a kid you know the school did listen to the parents when the parents think, think that oh this is probably not so good for the kids the school listening they might they might not follow but they did follow a lot of the parents recommendation also so that's that was yeah Absolutely, we've never we've never looked back. Absolutely. I don't think Nathan Nathan Nathan, Nathan loves the school. He and, never wanted to leave the school. And uh, yeah, that's <laughs> the most amazing thing about BISP is that, uh, especially in the pre-COVID years and the and the earlier years, that um, trying you know we live quite a distance from the school, and yet to get him to get him out yeah. uh, to leave the school was quite difficult. It's yeah. very, you know, I never had that with my other kids at other schools. Uh, they, you know, with Nathan, he certainly, he, you know, when he was younger, trying to get him to leave was very, very difficult. All his friends. All his friends. I mean, the parents were have to waiting, and the kid was still doing whatever they're doing. Yeah. And they don't want to leave the school until like late. Hey, we have to go. We have to yeah. go. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The most admirable thing, as far as I'm concerned, is the fact that there have been so many teachers that have been, that have really gone out of the way for Nathan mm. and not only for Nathan, for other children oh, yeah, as well. Yeah, and, what, and what is so, you know, what's so admirable is that these, these teachers have become mentors um, and Nathan will remember them for the rest of his life. They've uh, been very, very influential. I think it's up to, uh, it's, it's, it's up to every parent to take the decision regarding their, regarding their children. Uh, we believe we've made the right decision um, from all accounts and from speaking to so, and being close to so many parents, um, um, many feel the same as ourselves and we believe uh, we've made the right choice. Uh, there's, there, there have been many memories, uh, great, great memories. I would say the, when, when Nathan came back from Fabizia, the first, his first trip to Malaysia, uh, and they've done extremely well. They were also the youngest group in the, in, in, yeah. of the Fabizia. And bear in mind, there's 93 schools. There were 93 schools attending uh, the Olympiad. And uh, they were the youngest group. And they did incredibly well. And he was just so thrilled. And you could see it and you could sense it upon his return. So that, that would go down as one of, one of, the, 
the most precious memories. And then another one is um, he, he was fortunate to uh, attend uh, two skiing trips to, to Switzerland, which he absolutely loved because he's also, uh, he loves his, uh, skiing, he's an avid skier, and uh, those uh, skiing, ski trips to Switzerland were absolutely great.